Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and we are back for the fifth uh, episode for the 16th chapter for my Road to Master series. Or, not Road to Master, what the hell? I've been confusing those two a lot lately. Um, the Exploring the Arsenal series, my bad. And, um, once again, this will be the 16th chapter on the G23 family, and this episode uh, will be featuring the G18, a, uh, the first three round burst rifle, uh, pistol, um, the only GP three round bur uh, burst, uh, pistol, in fact, the uh, pistol that you can unlock at second lieutenant two. Um, I think that's the rank that you unlock it, and it costs a whopping 900 GP a day. Um, this is the most expensive pistol until you hit like the uh, GP rare pistols. So um, it's gonna, it's gonna cost you a lot. And um, just because of its three round burst function, um, it does cost like 600 more GP more than your uh, normal G23. But whether or not that's worth the money investing in a G18, that's up to you, but um, it does come with a pretty hefty price for its very convenient three round burst function, but we'll get into that in a second. And first of all, like, I keep, like I've already mentioned, the G18 is unique in the fact that it is one of the few uh, handguns to have a three round burst option, and we'll get into detail uh, with that later in this uh, review. Now, there's not much difference. Uh, there's not much difference in the stats carrying over from the G23. Um, the only noticeable uh, difference in statistics uh, for the G18 is the fact that the G18 does have a four-point increase in recoil from the original G23, which is understandable. Um, the G18 does have a th very convenient three-round burst option, and um, as I guess, as an act of gun balancing. Next one's pretty bad at that, but whatever. Um, next one's I'd give it four points more recoil, and you can definitely feel it per shot. Um, it does kick around a lot more in your hands per shot, and you're gonna have to control your shots a bit, a uh, bit more, uh, so to speak. But it does have, or the mechanics of the G18 are different from the G23 in many different ways. In fact, almost all, all ways. Um, their statistics might be very similar, but the way that the G18 performs uh, from the G23 it is a lot different, or they're they're a lot different. And uh, starting with the um, just the motions um, on your HUD, um, the G18 does. Uh, look different in first person view um, the top rail the top of the slide looks a little bit different um, and the sprint animation the reload animation um, actually the reload animations yeah the reload animation is also different they're all different in that uh, I don't really want to go into detail of this but just in case there are some of you guys who can't see the video gameplay for whatever reason um, the reload animation does look a little bit different um, it's kind of similar to like the G18 Cobra and the P226 and all those other handguns that had similar reload uh, reload animations and the reload or not the reload but the sprint animation uh, is kind of different in that you actually carry your G18 in first person anyway um, off the side instead of like hanging down uh, down near the bottom of the screen it actually hangs near the right side of your screen so um, it's just a little bit things that are different that I'd like to point out that aren't really important but yeah I'm just throwing them out there just for extra tidbits of uh, trivia and um, moving on to more important um, kind of different aspects of the G18 from the G23 the spread does not increase as fast as the G23 does or it's just how I feel um, because of its uh, I don't want to say there's something about the G18 that um, you can fi still fire as fast as you can click, but there's something about the spread that doesn't allow it to spread out as much as the G23 does when you completely spam it at people. Um, it stays relatively the same spread even if you're trying to fire as fast as you can click, um, at least to my experience anyway. If you guys have different experiences with that, then, I mean, of course, it may be different for you, but in my experiences, I never really had, um, I never really saw the spread on G18 uh, spread outwards too much. Um, in fact, it never really changed at all for me, so that, I guess, for me, that's a good thing. And, um... Uh, I think that was it for like the normal mechanics and stuff. It does still have its 15 round magazine and uh, 30 rounds in reserve. So it's still the same ammo as the G23. And um, here is the the 
main defining feature of the G18 is three round burst. Um, in order to access it, just press F. Um, F is your default key to um, toggle between different firing modes. So initially, the your G18 you will spawn with your G18. Um, what if you first join a game? Your G18 will be on sync. Will be set automatically at single fire, and you must you must manually change it to automatic and you don't have to change it for the rest of the game even if you die and respawn um, but do make sure to uh, press F when you, when you first take out your G18 because that will set it to 3 round burst mode and uh, you're, you should be good to go from there on and on the 3 round burst function like it, like the name suggests fires 3 three rounds in one click and um, it does kind of take away the firing as fast as you can click um, kind of mechanic of the G18 but it more than makes up for it with its very, with its significantly reduced uh, hip fire spread. Um, it re reduces it by at least 25%. That I just made that statistic up myself, but it just seems like it's been reduced by a fourth. And um, it's very easy to get uh, aim at body shots and even headshots w uh, while you're spraying with the AG18 on burst fire mode. So very useful. Um, lots of people use it just for its three-round burst function because it's very convenient and um, it is quite accurate in, in a medium range uh, when you're using that three-round burst function. And um, yeah, that is the single reason why Nexon decided to give it, okay, decided to put a, like a 900 GP a day price tag on it over the usual uh, 300 for G23. So yeah, that should be it for the G18 guys. I hope I wish that uh, I could talk more about the G18, but honestly, that's all I really had to say about the G18 in terms of its stats performance. It does uh, perform very well, and um, just the only real downside to it is that it has a relatively high rank requirement, and it costs so damn much that. I mean, for those of you guys who don't really have much GP to uh, spend from day to day, um, it's really a pain on your on your GP to buy this at, on a consistent basis um, at 900 GP a day. That's like buying like almost that's almost like buying a, a G36 E for almost every day minus 50 GP a day. So, how painful can that get in terms of economic? You know, um, how to deal with your GP if you don't have much of it? So. I mean, this is like a rare treat where you should get only once in a while, I guess, um, if you are running low on GP. But if you do have GP to burn and you're looking for a good pistol and you happen to be second lieutenant two or above, G18 all the way. Um, it could be, it could po quite possibly be your new favorite pistol just because of its three round burst function. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the uh, review on the G18, and in this last gameplay segment, I do get kicked for spamming the G18 way too much. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and keep in touch for the next review on the G18 Cobra, the newest uh, hang NX handgun that has been released by Nexon, um, and the first autom fully automatic pistol in combat arms. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys then.